handy resource indeed, your field guide. <laughs> I'm most pleased to be included. G'day there mates, my name is Mr. Nagila Cardi. Welcome back once again to my channel. Today we'll be continuing the story of Hogwarts Legacy. And you leave them on platform nine and three quarters? You are damn lucky that the station guard found them first. I'm sending a remember all in the post. By Merlin, don't lose that too. <laughs> so last episode, we pretty much had a talk for Natty. I don't see if it was an Alvin Mavis. We also talked to Poppy again, and she went to find out more about the dragon, which she did find out in one episode. And we also went into a tomb where we found a dark artifact which had a dark price to pay to use. And now Sebastian has banished himself far from use in the Imperius Post. And now I'm gonna have, have a talk with them. Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form. And that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anne a crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... We just lost our parents, and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the Headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. You're pretty much doing it so to make sure you don't do anything stupid. That's pretty much it. After all, real friends look out for each other and make sure we don't go down a darker path. <sighs> right. Let's have a talk with Poppy then. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Yep. Be. It's not like her to forget. I do forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in Plimpies. <laughs> what did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Sounds like you've done this thing before. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. 
Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. Mm -hmm. You're making this sound simple, but this is a dragon after all. Hebrideans can be aggressive, but they're also clever. She caught on quickly enough when you showed her how to escape the tent. She'll understand why we're here once she sees her egg. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Hopefully. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Mm. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Okay then. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Let's go. Ooh. There she is, above us. She did make it home safe. Oh, yeah. good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. That's definitely good. So if she doesn't take it, we are here to be aggressive. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Yeah. Rebellion. Bombarder. <laughs> Guy. Okay, let's prepare this bread, shall we? Prepare her. Fantastic. There she is again. She's breathtaking from a distance. Yeah. Believe it or not, you can actually. Um, I don't want to say tame, but uh, you can actually interact with one in the magical creature reserve. In a Hogwarts mystery. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well, and from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. <laughs> I. Just, yeah, there was a, a bit of a side quest you can do that involves the hep. Is a uh, drag? We get a dragon here. I can't remember one, but uh, yeah, you can pretty much interact with one and uh, feed it and all that stuff, along with many other creatures as well, from uh, including a unicorn, Welsh green, and all sorts. She must have been to pick off a grapple. Or just raring for a fight. Quiet, what was that? What was what? I think she found us. No. 
like that. Over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, whenever you're ready, I'll follow your lead. Okay. I'll talk about it. Follow when you're ready. Warrior. Okay. That was close. Glad I learned that technique when I did. Watch out! It's her domain. She'll make sure we know it. Keep at it. We've just got to make sure. I know. She's making it easy. Not that right. Not a warm welcome. It's a little too warm, if you ask me. <laughs> Yeah, let's not make it with the dragon fun. I don't suppose she listened to reason. Down for well past that. Hey. <laughs> Get to that opening below her. Okay. Hop, skip it, and jump away then. Why is every bridge here broken? I can have a good guess why. Repair it. Most likely because she did destroy it. And now, again. If we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Hopefully, is the word. I think she understood. Well, we did it. That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. <laughs> Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. And they That's are. what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it, and we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. On the contrary. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. Mm -hmm. He did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. Wait, what, what's going on? I've been so blind. What? That doesn't sound good. There it is, it is 
Sounds good. <sighs> Unless, even if they went after a grand. Oh Christ, I hope not. I say we go with the shadow of the mine. Okay. This one is going to be a bit longer one, but bugger it. How inconvenient travel was before I invented blue. Pack. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Sure, lady, I'm sure. <sighs> Sebastian. I thought my owl might pique your interest. They say there was new quest. Let's have a look. There is. Did we get an owl somewhere? Uh, let's see. Any oaks? No. Um, okay, so it looks like we have to talk for her, though. So. Sorry, Sebastian. <laughs> Alright, uh, back to Hong it is then. Okay, out in the field, so... Need the Magical Beast class. Time to go a little quicker! Let's go! I'll be here. Oh, good, you're safe. You okay? There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. Mm -hmm. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Mm-hmm, yeah. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. Oh From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. Mm. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets. 
if they still exist. I think they do. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as... Merlin's beard! You're genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. Mm -hmm, we'll mm -hmm. need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Okay, so let's not go back to Sebastian yet. <laughs> Instead, let's just uh, step here on the cold and wait and see if uh, anything pumps up. Let's give it another day. Okay, so it looks like we won't be doing any more of that. Although she is still dead. <laughs> um, let's see. Is there a guy to help Sebastian now? Since I just, just kept going back and forth with him. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Off on another adventure, are we? Uh huh. Wonder who lives. Faster! Uh. Away! All right, Sebastian. Let's do this stuff, shall we? I thought my owl might pique your interest. He's already piqued my interest, Sebastian. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous in the catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's mm -hmm. incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? <sighs> we need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. Good idea. After you. Thank you. Okay, disillusion. We must remain unseen. Yeah, and let's avoid using the triplicus totalis here. There they are up ahead. I'll let you lead. The area is still clear. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Ranrock's loyalists are out for blood. Mm -hmm. Especially after what happened. Now we can get some of the collectibles here, so let's try and do that without being seen. I may actually just come back and deal with them afterwards. After all, silence this is key. going well. We make yeah. a good team. <laughs> we do at that. Yeah. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. I know. Oh, let's be discreet. No better than that by now. We've all told you before, and look what happens when you don't listen. The entrance is over there, but we got a goblin there. Mm. 
<laughs> I never have to look at those chains. Never look my. Better or for worse, we're in. Oh, could do with a nice mushroom stew now. Show you what. All over. This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. Mm. Yeah. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Uh huh. I may miss something back there, but. Uh. Nice of you to stop by. Hey, fellas. <laughs> Something here they want. Mm-hmm. So we're getting there. Gonna have to get incendiary out. Incendiary. Hey spawners. Yeah, let's get her off. Ooh, Christmas tree. That Something else is awfully hard. Rebellion. Any ideas? Yeah, got one. Just hold on a moment. Yeah, that chest was on the mini map. It's gonna be under us, so we'll have to make our way down. Revelio. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Thanks. You really have to bench him all that. All right, down here. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Uh, uh. Rebellion. Okay. I'm gonna go over there, but let's just get up here first. Incendium. I'm down in here. I'm gonna have to head back to the room of Kwame to get this stuff equipped, checked out. There's always something over there. Something like, shall we? A little bit helps, I say. I need to take these headphones off soon. All right, uh, here we go. Repair it. There we go.
Right. Arrested momentum. That over there, so let's grab that and get going. That way. So we'll go this way. Oh. Fashion. Too bad you can't find them in here. There's lots of pool. Should I have I gotta remember to empty my stuff between missions. That was less threatening. We've still not seen a single rune symbol. Uh, I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. Yeah. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Let's get too excited about it. What was that? Bombarda. Come on. 
Look out. On the third bird. That's really what I got. Slytherin. Ah, there's that Hufflepuff loyalty you're so well known for. <laughs> Rebellion. Yeah. Let's have a look around. Let's play this out of the way. Incendio. Um. Peace. And now, anyway. Incendio. Wait, that door. Rebellion. A rune symbol above the cavern door. Ranrock's word. I need to look for it. Guardian Leviosa. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Okay, put this here. Ah, wrong place. Alright, there's one up there, one over there, and one here. Yep, we found them. Down here. What is this place? Another journal entry. The wall floated back to me as if in a watery haze. How long have I been unconscious? When he removed his eyes, empty. Empty of sorrow. Yes. But also, I recall feeling a sense of euphoria as I watched the pain vanish, but then everything started to turn. When I fell, I must have hit my head. I neither feel nor see a mark, but the pain is throbbing. I can only hope it is not the Black Death. At least he is no longer in pain. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel Rebellion. this mystery. Mm. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Doesn't Still, like her. something about this place feels odd. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye right to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. Yeah. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated. Rebellion. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. You know, I already found it. A 
And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. One way to find out. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Ween has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable. Great. Yes, I can understand his hate for goblins because of everything that happened. To Belcross, to his sister, still. People can become short sighted when they're just focused on just one thing. What can we do? What can we do? That's gonna to have to do it for today's episode. I'm gonna to have to start restocking on some stuff back at the room of climbing. Cabbages, potions, the whole works. <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna be recording for a while. So that's gonna to have to do it for me. We got so much watching. <clears throat> if you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and show support for the channel. I'll very much appreciate that. I'll still be looking for more rare creatures, because why the heck not? Thank you all again, and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and drive safely out there, people. Bye-bye, take care. Have a good time.